Hello everyone, it's Cisco Laps, and I'm back yet again playing Age of Engineering. In between episodes, didn't do a ton, did a fair amount of stuff, I guess. I uh, worked on my walls a bit, uh, I processed a few empowered diametine, and uh, I guess I just broke down a bunch of resources from the uh, vertical digger, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, we're going to get the stuff here, get, get to the stuff of things. I just want to get some of this going right away. Um, I'm going to get some more sturdy casing going right off the hop just because, well, I want to be able to make future machines and that's the thing. I should put that in the hopper, shouldn't I? That would make a lot more sense. Uh, that there. That there. Put that there. And uh, throw that up there. That will start making us casings. That is good. And uh, we're good to go. Um, we're going to get to work on our boosters today. So I have everything I need now to make our third... Mm, um, just boosters for the vertical digger. Uh, so yeah, we got empowered diamantine. Uh, I have enough ender pearls now, so I think I have 13 now. Yeah, I killed a couple endermen. That's not a big deal. I have the ender sword now, so the, yeah, not a big draw, not a big big problem at all anymore. Uh, what else we got here? I'm just thinking, what do I need for these vertical boosters? I believe I need some black quartz. So let's grab that right off the hop. I believe I did some. Yes, I did. And we need some Restonia. Pretty sure of that. There we go. I'm not sure what else. We'll see here. Uh, boosters. There we go. Right there. We're going to make some of these. The ender casings were the problem. But we need to make three of these. And we need... We can already make the casing. Sweet. And I guess we just need some diamonds. Uh, zapped by the reconstructor. And we're good to go. There we go. We'll grab 12 of those. Then we're going to get this puppy set up and get it pulling some resources out of the ground for us and seeing how well it works. I'm expected to work very well. It is going to take a while, though. Won't be able to sit there and watch it, that's for sure. Uh, it's going to be a little time consuming. Uh, after that, not sure. We're probably going to either work on... We're going to work on some machines. We're probably going to work on some new... Uh, some Ender IO machines. And uh, do I have everything? Just to make sure. Yes. Some Ender IO machines. And... Uh, Probably full round calculator a bit. Um, because I still need to sort that out. I have a rough idea of how it works. Uh, but it is very important later in the game. Um, it generates circuits for you. Um, that you're going to need for IC2. That are very important. So, uh, this, And slow. It is very slow. So we're going to have to come up with some kind of robust system for that. Uh, it will not be robust today. Today is just going to be a kind of a feeling it out thing. To see how exactly it works. But uh, we're just going to get this set up here. Get our 32 range set up. And there we go. That's that. Only mining ores. It's just draining the power out of it. Uh, these cows. I'm sorry, sir. But you need to go. Can, can you stop? Stop that. Okay. You're making me look, look silly. In front of my friends. Love that. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I made three more uh, thermos too. So... It's going to generate, what is that, 270 RF? So it's not massive or anything. Um, but it takes about, I'm, I'm not sure the exact number. I think it's 1,200. It might be 15. Either way, it does not find an ore every single second. So you don't need it per tick. Uh, I might need a little more power. Three more will probably cover it, though. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just want up, running, doing its thing, pulling us out resources. And, uh, you know, getting us stuff. Because this is going to get a ton of stuff now. It's going to be <laughs> pretty silly, really. But uh, we'll set up. We'll get it running. Maybe near the end of the episode, we'll come back. And uh, see how much it got us. Because I'm expecting it to be a fair amount. And we're pretty much good to go. I am going to have to reset this machine. Because right now, when I first started, it was set to 5x5. Five five. Uh, we need to get it set to... What should we call it? Because it's already down. What is it down to? It's down to 71. Yeah, it's already dropped a few layers just based on the power. But if we reset it, or reset it to the top level at 33 by 33. So uh, we'll do that right now. Reset. There we go. Get some crates attached to this puppy. It is going to need a bunch, I figure. <laughs> do that. I'm hoping this can't set crates on fire. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. Uh, I think that's pretty, er pretty much everything we need, though. That should be pulling resources out. I just want to make sure it's pulling them out. Yes, it is pulling them out. I do need speed upgrades. <laughs> Pretty much 
desperately, but I don't actually have them right now. So uh, I don't even have a resonator yet. But uh, that is going. That is going to do its thing. We're going to get that chunk loaded. So let's go here. Let's go to claim chunks. We'll claim some of these chunks. This was the old one. I do not need that one anymore. I thought you just... Yeah, there you go. And I don't know if this one... How this one works. So I'm just going to do the whole area. I don't know if it just needs the... Uh, the spot with the uh, vertical digger uh, chunk loaded. Or if it'll cross chunks... Uh, or not. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. If Whether or not it'll turn off because it won't be able to mine outside the chunks. So I'm just going to do all the chunks around it because I'm not sure exactly how it works. Go away, Lava. Anyway, we're going to leave that. We're going to let it do its thing. And uh, we're going to get on to new things. And okay, I just thought I'd show this too. Uh, in between episodes, I did set this up. I had everything I needed for it. I just completely forgot to set it up. Um, I'm going to keep this around to do bulk runs of steel. So uh, I still need to throw... Another block in there. I guess I have one more. No, I got a partial piece of cold coke. Um, it'll be for just big runs of steel. So it's going to be 15 blocks. Uh, I put preheaters on it. They just take 32 RF a tick, I think, to uh, fully power. So they are getting about 30, 31 right now. And uh, they're a little underpowered. But this will make a block of steel in about three minutes. As opposed to however long it takes over there. Which is like several minutes just for a single one so this is going to be for big runs of it um and yeah it was just i should show blast furnace blast furnace blast the bloost 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 furnace uh what is it blast brick there we go so there's just this the slag the nether brick the blaze powder so just smelt it down netherrack uh and then for the reinforced one steel plates that uh preheaters which you just place on craft then place on the side uh, preheater. There we go. Preheaters are just a bunch of iron and these uh, external heaters, which I think those external heaters also work on uh, regular furnaces too. Uh, and I'm just going to break this really quick. Let's do that. I'm going to lose the fuel that was in there. But to craft this, super easy. Just 3x3x3 uh, three by three by three of, uh, of the blast brick. Uh, preheaters don't have to go in before. I just put them in there. One hopper on top. And whack the center with an immersive hammer. So very simple, easy to set up, and uh, pretty effective. Did that break the power? No. Okay. There we go. And just whack the center block, and yeah, you got it. It's doing its thing. Uh, it'll output for the front. You can auto input through the top. I rarely bother. And uh, it'll push uh, scrap out or slag out the back. So you're going to need a chest or something back here. Same as you're going to need something here to catch the uh, steel as it comes out. So super easy, just making sure, because a lot of people, they just don't bother with that furnace. I don't know why. Uh, you can automate that one where you can't automate the uh, non-improved one. So it is uh, pretty sweet like that. Uh, I'll just throw this cold coke in here for next time I do a run. I don't need that steel right now. I just kind of want to do a big run of it. There we go. So let's take a look here. Well, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to do some work. Uh, we're going to get make use of this chassis. So let's get that going. Let's see here. I want this. First thing I'm going to want is an alloy smelter. So I think that is something we should have. I'm tired of having to do bronze uh, in tinkers. I'm still going to have to do those large plates there, but nothing I can do about that. Uh, alloy smelter. There we go. I guess we just need a cauldron. Let's do that. I guess we could do that. And uh, you're probably hearing my mouse today. I'm using a different mouse than usual because uh, my regular one is actually, yeah, uh, batteries died on it. Didn't have time to run to the store, so I'm not used to it. I usually like using the quieter mouse for videos. There we go. So that's getting power. We now have the ability to, you know, make anything we need here. So, yeah, can configure it. Oh, it's so nice to have machines I can actually configure sides on. I haven't looked at all the recipes, too. Advanced generators... Yeah, there's tons in here. So all our basic alloys, plus there's probably some custom recipes in there that we'll see in time. Um, not going to worry about that right now. I'd also like to make one more chassis, so let's do that. I'd really like to have a sag mill as well, because I can make the wood pulp that I need for conduits uh, in the carpenter. Oh, I, did, I just wasted power. But three of these are done anyway. Um, <laughs> 
I can make the chassis, um, not chassis, the wood pulp I need for conduit, but it'd be much easier to do it in the sag mill. So I think I want to do that. Let's do this. Let's put two of those in there. Take a look at chassis. I think I already broke down most of the stuff I need for this already, so it should only take a second. Gonna need some steel plates, some carbon plates. I can't remember if I did the carbon plates. Hopefully I did. I did. Uh, steel plates. There's that. I'm gonna need two of those. Steel plates. I might not have done steel plates. Thank nabbit. Well, we don't need many steel plates, so let's just get those going. I put levers on these too because they seem to burn power <laughs> when you don't want them to. So, um, yeah, it's a thing. I like to turn them off. Like if I turn this one on, it immediately turns on the furnace. These ones seem to just randomly in a while make the furnaces start burning. So I've been leaving them off. So that's the thing. Uh, I should actually grab our chassis. So let's grab that. And we're also going to make a sag mill. That's the whole point of this. So I just want to get one of those going. There, we're going to need uh, some cobble. Guess we're going to need, what else? A couple of wood. Some planks. We will need a piece of iron. I have all my iron in block form, don't I? Let's do that. Break some of that down. And uh, that should give us our piston. Let's go to sag mill. It's nice that the recipes for these haven't been changed. Just how you get to them has been changed. We need a piece of redstone. Because then at least it's familiar. And you can just keep going with it. And don't have to think about it for 10 years. There we go, got a sag mill. Throw that down, and bam. I'm gonna immediately throw some wood into that puppy and get some pulp going. Let's do that. And that. So that's gonna get us some pulp. That's pretty cool. Um, now that we got those going, we've got our um, digger going. I mean, we got everything we wanna get going right now. We're gonna start looking at some calculator. So this isn't gonna be some any big giant setup, but there's a couple machines I wanna get right off the hop, I think. Uh, because I think they're going to make our life easier. But we're going to need a bunch of power cubes. Like this separator alone, I think, is two, four, six power cubes. Plus this is, is another two power cubes. That's eight power cubes right there. Uh, I did get a whole bunch of coal dust because I knew we were going to need it. There we go. And uh, we're going to make some coal balls because that is the main thing with those power cubes. Let's see here. I'm just going to keep making these for a bit. There we go. There we go. And I'm just going to get those all compressed and sleep. Okay, I'm just going to let those compress for a second. Is there anything else that we need? Just the reinforced stone iron again. Okay, these stone separators. If you go to use on them, um, so the stone separator. So usually with the calculator, to make the re enriched gold agate, I would have to put a redstone and gold in the calculator, and it would just give me the, uh, you know, the, the raw version of this, this, the enriched gold. Uh, but in the stone separator, I can put a ore in there, and it'll give me four. Same as here, I can put an ore, give me four. So it kind of cuts out a step, so it's kind of neat like that. Um, there's some other recipes in here too, like this, the amethyst leaves and stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of seeds that you can plant for this mod. So there would be uh, an amethyst tree, and there's like a tanzanite tree, and there's two others. There's a diamond and another one. And you can actually farm them for resources, and there's uh, things that you can use to tap them too. But we're not going to get to that today. Uh, I've been learning a bit about the mod, and we are going to get into it early, because the mod makes processors. Uh, I don't know if I already stated this, that you are going to... How did I manage that? You're going to need for EE2 later on. It is very slow and it is very time consuming and the sooner that we get it done the better off we're going to be so um i just want to get onto it now just kind of get it locked down figure out how exactly i'm going to set it up because i think it's going to be you know it's going to need a fairly robust bus setup to get going and a fair amount of power um that's not enough for that well that's enough for this i guess uh reinforced stone let's just make a new stack because i think i'm low on that uh let's go here and I'll kind of explain more as we go. Can I make that's in a work table? Why do I? I see that and I get all happy because I see this light up and go, ah, work table, do the stuff. And I don't want to use my work tables at all. Let's go here. Uh, is it cobble? I can't remember if it's cobble or not. We're gonna need our calculator though, so let's grab those. 
Uh, that one can go scientific, regular calculator. There's also the info calculator that kind of gives you information before the mod. Uh, that's where I've been looking up the bulk of my stuff. Uh, that and that. There we go. We'll just make a bunch. Then I don't have to think about it for a bit. Let's throw in this one down here, I guess. There, there. Probably need a fair amount of that, so let's keep it on us. So that, that. I think we just need enriched iron, which is just a... Uh, what is that again? That is just iron and that. So let's do that. I know we're going to need a bunch of this, so let's just do it off the hop, right? Oh, that's calculator recipe. Let's uh take that out. That and that. There we go. I know we need a ton. I probably need more than that, so that is kind of a thing. Let's grab that. There's more of that. Okay, so can we finally make this? Make the stone separator. Yes, we can. Excellent. Uh, I know right off a of hop, too, we're going to need some more pipe. Or uh, power pipe, I should say. Uh, so let's get some of that going. There we go. Let's do that. Inventory is totally clogged. Nothing I can do about it. But we're going to have two more machines here, almost off the hop. So that is the thing. So this thing, pretty basic. Takes power. Put in items. Get items out. Simple as that. It's just a different way of processing items. So if I put a lapis in there, I'm going to get an amethyst. The amethyst I could be apparently use for a large amethyst. Large amethyst. What can I use that for? Hunger processor. You know what I mean? Oh, we could already make this amethyst tree too. What was that with? Let's see here. With lapis. How much do I get? I'm just thinking of something that we could do. Lapis, and that was nine of those? Yeah, let's do uh, nine lapis in there. And let's get our, get one of those trees going, just so I can see one in action and see how it works. Uh, lapis. We're going to want nine of that. Of course, I compressed everything. Let's do that. Do that, that. Uh, we only need half of that. Right away. Put nine of that in there. And that's going to start going. We'll let that go for a bit. Going to throw that in there. I want to look at this one as well because it's the same thing but different recipes. So I uh, go here. This one can do lapis and do large tanzanite. Uh, diamonds and the weak diamonds. So a whole bunch of other recipes. Again, they're cheaper. We did this, this one before. I think we did the weak diamonds too, actually. And uh, it definitely wasn't a single redstone. I think it was, yeah, it was iron or redstone. So I do want to make one of those. And that's why I made so many of those balls. Uh, so let's see here. Can I make more of these? There we go. There's four of them. So we're going to need two more of these right off the hop. You need so much of that. Uh, <laughs> so much of this stuff. Let's grab some more. There we go. Uh, there's one. There's two of those. And we need two for this, and we need two more power cubes. So we got those. Can we get this yet? I guess we just need those reinforced iron blocks. And I did make enough, so sweet. There we go. So we're going to grab that. And we have the Empower Diamantine, thankfully. So not a big deal there. Where did I put the rest of it at, though? Oh, right there. There we go. Going to have to clean up my inventory in a second, but not going to worry about it right away. There we go. This is the Logarithm Separator. Boom. There we go. That's doing that. Again, it's going to give us access to a whole bunch of recipes. And tanzanite, I'm guessing that's going to give us, if so, if I put, no, not tanzanite wood, not tanzanite leaves. I guess I could put lapis in this one as well, and I bet I can make a sapling out of that. Let's see here. No, I can't make a sapling out of that one. I'll have to look at that. Oh, you can make starch extractors. Not that I have any interest in that. How do you make the tanzanite sapling? Let's go to, uh, how do you spell that? Tans. It's a light slapping. So that one's made in the atomic calculator, so apparently we can't get to that one yet. Or a chance at analyzing chamber, which we'll get to later on. But I should be able to take this now and make that base seed. So let's try that. There we go. Let's grab one of those saplings. Do I not have any? I know I got vanilla saplings. I've been actually burning them as fuel just because I have them, and why not? Uh, I've been using them here. I've been using them in the tree farm. I mean, it's free fuel, right? So why not use it? Why am I trying to do it in here? Uh, that was actually in... Is that the calculator or the scientific? We're about to find out. 
it was the scientific. So let's do that. Put that there, put that there. We got an amethyst sapling. I'm gonna plop one of these down and just leave it for now. And we'll come back to that later because I know it gets you resources and there is an item you can get here. So you go to the info calculator, go down here. You got a scarecrow, which will make your stuff grow bigger in the uh, farm. I noticed that. Uh, I can't click on these tabs. I can sometimes. If I click on the other time, like, it crashes though. So I haven't been touching it. I've actually been using the escape key. Um, so yeah, the amethyst sampling used to hunger modules, vanilla sapling, scientific elevators, product, blah, 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 blah. You can be automated with the stone assimilator. That's the one I was thinking of. So we go down to, where is it? Simulator. Stone assimilator. Boom. It's kind of like a tree tap. I'm guessing by the shape of it, it's just going to go to an inventory, but we'll have to try it at some point. I'm not going to try it right now, but I think it just, you hook it to the tree and it just you know, over a period of time pulls resources out of it. So, um, this mod has a lot of stuff like that. Um, another one we're going to work on here is let's go to Kelk because I can't remember the actual name of the item. Where is that? Extraction chamber. This is the one we want. I want to make an extraction chamber. So we need even more of those power cubes. I think we've already burned through all of those power balls, the power balls, cool balls. So let's actually make some more. You're going to need a lot of coal for this mod. Um, There's something to be aware of. But we have not been using our coal at all. Literally none. Um, so it's not that big a deal. So I am going to make one of these extraction chambers. Because these are what start the process of you making circuits. So if you go to use on the extraction chamber. You'll see here you can put dirt in it or stone in it. Uh, we'll use stone. It doesn't matter what you use. They produce the same things. So every time you put a stone in it, you have a 12% chance of getting either damage or a dirty circuit, depending on what you put on it. You take those damaged circuits, you put them through a processing chamber, uh, they get processed and turned into a circuit. The circuit you get is random. There are several that you can get. I'm not sure the exact number. Uh, once you get the circuit, you put it through, it doesn't show it here, but you put it through an analyzing chamber uh, where you get a chance for a random drop. So let's look at that. Analyzing chamber. There we go. So you got to make one of these. Go to the use, and then you have a chance for a random drop. So these are, you know, drop chances of stuff that they could get out of the circuit. Uh, I think at that point, the circuit could be used for crafting. Because if you go to um, AE2, let's go to applied. Actually, let's just go to circuits. It'll be easier to pull up there. Circuit. There we go. You got all these circuits here. Uh, so let's go to printed calculation circuit. They take these refined circuit boards, every one of them. Every one of those takes circuits that are from calculator. Same as, and if you go to, say, the engineering circuit, there's different circuits. Go to this one, there's different circuits. So you're going to need all of these circuits, and you're going to need to mass produce them if you want to get very far in IC2, because... Uh, yeah, it's a thing. So we're just going to kind of look at it, figure it out, see how it works, and, uh, you know, figure out a robust system for it later on. Um, I want to make those extractions, so let's grab some of these compressed cool balls. We're going to need another power cube. Let's go there. There we go. Grab one of those. Need at least one. I'll just do the one right now. I can't remember what the other machines take. I only read in the book anyway, so I don't really know that well. Um, I'm just learning this as I go. Reinforced stone. We're going to need a flawless. Um, what was the flawless? I can't remember. I know I can do it now. If I had... Oh, I could just put a diamond in there. That is way cheaper. Good thing I made that separator. There we go. That'll make that way cheaper. I think that made the uh, reinforced iron cheaper too, didn't it? Maybe not. Not sure. We'll have to see. Did this one make the reinforced iron cheaper? Yes. Like Oh, with ores, though. So once I get ores back from there, I can start using that. Uh, is this done, actually? I need this right away. There we go. Looks like that tree already grew. That didn't take very long at all. Let's go over here. There we go. And uh, those trees, like stuff, this thing has all kinds of modules, too. So if you go to calculator again. Um, calculator. So you've got... Where is it? You got a, 
I'm not worried about the storage module or the warp one. We can worry about those. There's a hunger module, one that handles your hunger. There's another one that handles your health. Uh, nutrition is another. Uh, there's one for terrain. I think that's for like item swapping um, in, in, you know, in the world. Uh, so if you want to change one block for another, uh, I don't know if it's like a resin exchanger or a single block. We'll have to see that when we get there. Maybe it is with the advanced one. Um, and, you know, there's all kinds of cool little things in this mod, and I want to try them all in time. So we'll see how that works out. Oh, I already have my extraction chamber. That makes sense. So we're going to take that. We're going to throw that down. <laughs> I get totally sidetracked. Throw that there. I think we can just throw stone in there. We'll feed this with a cobblestone generator in time. I'm just not going to do that right now. Right now, I'm just going to try this out. Um, it has a 12.5% chance of exporting an item. Most of the time, you're just going to get a small stone. The small stone, I believe, can be used to make us, yeah, CF powder. CF powder is the main thing, I guess, uh, which is useful. This needs power, too, so let's make some more power conduit. Uh, we're going to need some glass. I'm going to have to make some more glass soon. Oh, I got glass on me. Uh, we need Restonia. I'm going to need another stack, I think. Let's just get a stack done. There we go. Going to throw that there. There we go. I thought I only made one at first. Just going to make a bunch of this for now. We won't be using these power conduits all game, but they will be useful later on for some setups. We will switch over to conduit at some point. I mean, I can make it now, but uh, this stuff is still cheap and easy and fast. So that should be getting power now. Yep, it's doing its thing. It should start working. I just want to see that bar start moving. Any cobblestone. Okay, it is moving. Excellent. Uh, it's not very fast. So at the current speed, I mapped out that one extraction chamber would work with eight of the other machines there. So the next one is, let's go to extraction here. Because it's 12.5%, so it could, this one machine could support eight of the, is it reassembly chamber? Yes, reassembly, because we are going to get damaged circuits. There's two versions, so there's a reassembly chamber. And what is the other one? I forget. Let's go to calc. There's one for the dirty circuits and one for the clean circuits. See here. Dirty circuit. Boom. Use. The other one is restoration. Okay. But that's not the one we want. We want the reassembly because we are using cobblestone, basically. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Reassembly, bam. We need another flawless diamond, some rich gold. The gold we're going to have to do in our regular calculator, right? So that is a redstone. Oh, that was the actual, yeah, that's the bare bone stuff, base level stuff. So one of these, one of those. I think that's calculator. Yes, it is. And a diamond. Grab a diamond. We can throw that into this puppy again. There we go. Going to go over here. Oh, and we need another extraction table just to do that. So let's do... There we go. Starting up this mod isn't super expensive, but is not cheap, that is for sure. Let's go here. Here. So we're going to need yet another power cube. Power cubes for days. There we go. And that might give us that. There we go. And then I guess we just need our... Fl what is it? Uh, weakened diamond? Yes, we can diamond. Grab that. Come over here. There we go. We have a reassembly chamber. We're going to... I'm going to pop it down there because I could run conduit and kind of daisy chain these. Uh, it hasn't got a circuit yet. I do want to see that. Let's see it. Still just feeling this out. I mean, we're not doing any advanced setup here. This is one of those things where a lot of people do not know this mod and you need to figure it out. One thing I do know is we're going to need a PA wrench. So let's take a look at that. PA wrench, one of these. So you're going to need a reinforced sword and a reinforced pick. So do I have enough reinforced stone? I do. Let's grab some sticks. Because um, the machines in this mod do not auto um, output. And they can't just be pulled automatically. So... Yeah, you're going to have to kind of set up the sides, and you need to do that with a wrench. Let's do that. And that. And that was this calculator, I think. Let's see here. There we go. Got a PA wrench. 
I think if we just right click the sides, yes, that means output, that means input. Simple as that. Um, but if you're going to hook up a conduit or something, the side has to be configured. It still hasn't got anything. I still want to look at the analyzing chamber though. That is the last machine I'd like to really take a look at right now. So we are going to need some more weakened diamond. Thankfully they only take a second. There we go. And uh, I don't know what that other part is. We need more of the reinforced iron. Uh, thankfully that only takes reinforced stone. So what do we need? 36. We need 26 more. So we're going to need 26 iron. Yeah, that is 10. All my iron has been processed, I think. Yeah. Let's just do that. Convert that down. I only want 26 right now, though. And uh, 26 of this. There we go. And once we got raw ores that have become a little cheaper and not as big of a step. There we go. Is that right? That isn't right at all. Oh, we need more reinforced stone. Which I believe I threw in here. There we go. That'll handle everything. I already had it all, actually. Not a big deal. We'll just uh, do this. That'll handle that. And we need to look at that assembly. So what's this need? Four enriched gold. Four steel mechanical components. So that is actually pretty expensive. So we need 16 of this. We're going to need four copper. I'm gonna grab this, gonna go here, gonna go here, go here. There's our mechanical components. We're gonna need 16 cobble, I think I saw, which we already have, and 16 stone uh, for buttons. There we go. No, it's gonna be in a chest, isn't it? Right there. 16 buttons. There we go. Gonna take that, gonna throw that in there, and there you go. I think that'll give us that. We'll see here in a sec. There we go. Got four of those. And uh, we're going to need enriched gold, which I believe I already have. We do have four. Excellent. Uh, reassembly. Okay. One more of those. Of course I need one more, right? Oh, there we go. And let's leave that there. In case we need that recipe again. What am I missing here now? Oh, it helps if I click on this. There's our advanced assembly. And just the weakened diamonds, which I already put in here. Still hasn't got a circuit yet. If it doesn't get one in a long period, I'll just do a cut. Just so we can see how it works, right? I just want to see how it works. Cut it together. And we can kind of figure it out as we go. So we should be able to just throw that down there. Uh, I'll take this. Throw that there. Oh, oh yes. I think this one doesn't actually take power. This one doesn't take power. But when it converts circuits, it can get power. So I don't know if that power can be pulled out, uh, used for other things, or if it's just used for charging. We'll probably have to figure that out. The book was a little unclear about that, actually. Remember reading that. Uh, yes. Anyway, I'm gonna sleep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make some conduit, I think, here. So let's go to conduit. Go to item conduit. We're gonna need some pulverizing iron. Do I still have an ender pearl? I do. So we'll just throw that there. That there. We're gonna have to sort out under pearl soon. Um, which shouldn't too be too bad because we will be going to the end before long. If we want to make it to the next age, we have to go to the end, right? So, uh, but I want some dark steel armor, proper weapons, stuff like that before we go anywhere near there. Plus some machines. We have a ton of machines we need. We need some automation here. I skipped so much of the, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? The infrastructure rushing to this point um, that, uh, yeah, we have a lot of stuff we need to get going. Go here, here, but now we have free resources, so I think it was well worth it. Gonna need some conduit binder, some CF powder. So we're gonna need some of these small stones, some of that and that. So I can actually take this stuff here, use that for the conduit binder, or I could use the stuff from the ore washing plant. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's do this. We did clay, and I think it was sand. There we go. And let's see if we can make our, our uh, CF powder. There we go. 
and for the actual binder we just need some of that wood pulp and some gravel so let's grab four gravel and there we go gonna grab some wood pulp because it sounds fantastic I don't know why I'm trying to put that in there like it's an inventory uh, let's go here 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 and here get that smelted up let's throw that in there Where is it at? Oh, there it is. I really, that's one thing I need to make too. I keep forgetting to make a grinder. I'll we'll have to do that next episode for sure. Uh, this is being cheap. It's not getting us any circuits. But I want to do a kind of a setup, see how it works. I figure I can just daisy chain these. Um, this one is putting small stone. So I could just do a buffer chest set on in and out. And that should be able to sort out the stone. No byproducts here. Here you're just going to have, this one I need to figure out, because you're going to have a circuit that goes up here, then possible byproducts are going to come out here. So obviously, maybe the bottom is the pullout, and maybe the top is the, we'll see. That one's the only one that is a little iffy uh, of how you would automate that, because you're definitely going to want to automate this, and you'll want to do it on a large scale. Um, I've already been looking, I'm probably going to end up doing a wall of bins. So if we do, what is it? Why did I put wall bins? Uh, just basic, basic bin. There we go. Thinking about this, this seemed like the way to go. Uh, right there, basic bin. They're not too bad, they're pretty cheap. But uh, I think I was told that when you set this up, so if you're, it doesn't matter whether you're using dirt or stone. In the end, you're gonna end up with 28 different items. So you're gonna kinda need I set up to sort 28 different items you could use drawers but these circuits don't stack when they're done so that is a problem um, we got our first circuit excellent i actually want to test it so let's actually make our conduit first so let's go to uh conduit i don't know why i did this i obviously know the recipe oh we can actually make 16. yeah i don't have any other use for that uh, vibrant iron nugget i guess so let's do that I want to do that. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to use the PA wrench. Oh, I broke everything. Well, apparently if you shift right click, they break. <laughs> Let's get rid of these sticks really quick. Well, I won't be able to test my uh, sorting, but I'm sure it'll work. Uh, let's go here. And this will end up moved. Like I said, this is just a test, just a test. So everything's working fine there. We do need cobble in there. I will need a cobblestone generator for the top. Um, uh, I would have to put a conduit here and a conduit here. Uh, this would be on extract. This would be on insert. That's fine. I would need an inventory above that for sure. So let's go here for a sec. So I'd want something on like this. There you go. And this one should work on in and out. in and out or you could just use a drawer or something i guess um it's not gonna be able to push the small stone in here so it's just a way to pull it out uh but yeah that works and that'll just move after they've been uh reassembled to automatically move them out of here then i would need another ooh, not that i just want empty hand there we go an empty hand over here break that that and I, this is the one I need to test. So uh, let's throw a circuit in there and see if anything. If First off, if we get any. Oh, first it's got to go in here. Uh, I want to see if we get any byproduct first off and see what gets pulled out. So that's kind of important for automation. So we'll kind of do that. That's going to take a second. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. We are utterly clogged up. There we go. There we go. I feel so nice to have conduit. Have to say. <laughs> Where's our floor? That is a crate. Of course it's a crate. There we go. Do that. Do this. This is not... They are not the fastest machines. I know they have upgrades, but uh, I think you need circuits to make them. I need you. I think you need the uh, fabrication chamber. Yes, this one here. And uh, it looks pretty expensive. So, yeah, you need pellets of RTG fuel. So that is a later on thing for sure. 
Uh, there's also a version of this chamber, I believe. I do not know which one it is, uh, but I think it's 100% chance on the stone. So let's go to calc. Processing. That one, processing one, is twice as fast, and it uh, can do dirty or damaged circuits. This is the one, precision chamber. Um, I think it is 100% chance to get something out of the stone. Don't, you know, guaranteed, you know, judge me on that. There we go, extraction. Always it pull. That's not on insert. There we go. Is it able to pull that? I know the problem. I meant to do this. So there we go. I pulled it out. Where'd it go? Or did it end up here? Okay. So it is analyzed now. So got the analyzed. We did not get a byproduct. Um, but I need to, it's not, I'm not going to know for sure how to sort this until I get a byproduct. Because if the byproducts can come out here, then it'll be easy sorting. Uh, they might have to be pulled out the bottom or I'm guessing, well, the circuit, obviously, because the circuit was sat here. I know they sit here actually. And, uh, it obviously can get pulled out at the side. I just need to figure out the rest. Anyway, just figuring things out. I'm just kind of trying to figure out exactly how to do all the sorting. So that is not pulling the stone. So what's going on there? Probably do not have this set right. In and out. No. No. I thought this would work. Hmm. Okay. So the stone isn't getting pulled out here? Huh. Huh. Can I just set it to insert? Doesn't seem it. <laughs> Let's go there. Let's go in there. Okay, maybe the, the small stone gets pulled out of the bottom. Gonna have to destroy my whole base just to figure out how to sort these things. That's the kind of stuff you gotta figure out when you want to automate new machines that you've never touched before. Oh, that's the problem right there. There you go, right? Yeah, ignore me. <laughs> I do not want to insert though, I want to in and out. That way if it gets a circuit, the circuit will move on. Uh, there we go. So that handles that. The rest I'm not going to be able to do. Oh, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that after. Um, the rest I can't do right now. So, um, it's going to take a lot of time and I'm just going to do that in between episodes. Kind of let circuits build up, figure out how to get this sorted and then do a more robust system over time because I figure I'm going to need, like I said, eight of these extraction chambers. You don't need eight. You could probably do four or five, six. Uh, I'd just like to get a little faster. Uh, there's also a good amount of stuff, uh, if you go to the analyzing chamber, that you can get as a byproduct. I mean, some of it's pretty good, too. So uh, you can get reinforced dirt. Fantastic. But uh, you can get weapons. You get hand grenades. You can get the components you need for calculator. Uh, enriched gold. More circuits. Uh, the terrain modules. Very low chances. Stuff like that. Uh, some of the higher level materials. Flawless diamond, for instance. Just a whole bunch of stuff that you can get as a byproduct. Uh, pretty rare. Oh, I wish I could get obsidian at all the time. And, uh, yeah, we can even get diamonds, emeralds. Again, very low chance, but it's there. Just a whole lot of stuff. whole lot of stuff. This mod looks pretty cool, and I'm looking forward to automating it all. But uh, it is going to be a process because, well, learning a fresh mod always is. And there isn't a lot of information on this mod, and the book has decent information, and it seems up to date. Um, which is a problem sometimes with these mods. The information isn't always up to date, but it seems up to date in this. Um, but uh, it, it isn't complete, so it seems to be missing tidbits of information that you would really like. So using it's going to be the only way to figure it out. I am curious about this though. How are we doing? What level is it on? It's still only on forty-three. It's already filled three crates. Wow. Okay. That is going to probably fill at least six crates. And that's pretty good. It's going to take a long time. So I'm fine with that, though. Wow, that's actually really good. It hit massive amounts of appetite, though. Uranium. More uranium. Not getting any Elorium. 
When I was actually mining, I was running into Eulorium a fair amount. I'm fine with that, though. I mean, there's tons more copper, good amount of iron, more iron, more copper, more iron, more copper, tin, oh, everything that we need, all the good things. So, yeah, that is pretty amazing. So, I think this is a giant success on resources. I mean, in the period of making this episode, I've gotten this, you know what I mean? So, nothing wrong with that. But uh, while I worked on other things. But uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I mean, it was kind of a figure thing out episode. Uh, one, to make sure our vertical digger was, you know, pumping out the resources that I really wanted. And uh, two, you know, just to start, start, you know, the the process of figuring out calculator. Because calculator, it's going to be a process. It just has some odd mechanics that I'm not used to. And I don't think a lot of people are used to. So, uh, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's it's much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.